Okay, so I want to lock it into position and then it'll stop at 90 degrees or if I want to bend further, get down on all fours, then it'll go all the way down to a 45 degree angle here. So my thigh is, my uh, shin is parallel to the ground like this, but holding my weight. So, or like I say, 90 degrees and then lock it there and that's your good stance that shows a lot of bend in the leg. So these ones with the short model, I'll take the fur off of one next and show you how I changed it. Balance on this foot for a little while, and as soon as my weight is off the toes there, then I'm free to bend the ankle as I want. If you can see the notches I've put in the front and back of this iron beam right here, piece of uh, ordinary steel from the local hardware store, about a one inch by an eighth thick. So, and if you can see. Here I've got a little ratchet mechanism which consists of merely one pointy piece of metal which gets caught in the hook over here. All I need is for this spring to pull and to pull this piece of metal so that its sharp point gets into the hook over here and that happens every time I put my weight down. Can you see it move? So I can lock it 90 degrees, and I just put my uh, my my latches at the right place. I can also go all the way down to really crouch down here, and if I'm resting on my own heels, that's actually a fairly restful position that your werewolf can sit upright here and get a little rest before he has to leap up and back into position in the 90 degree stance here. So, and of course, the more walking you do, the more time your foot is just hanging there with no weight onto it. So you actually get more rested when you're walking than if you're standing still trying to balance yourself and support all of your weight. So 